Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna curl my hair with spiral curl formers, which I've been using curl formers for a while, but I've never actually tried this size. So I'm really excited because it's been years since I first used curl formers. Also, I'll be trying out a new curling technique. This is a curl formers bag. There are 40 in the bag and I did try this with the barrel curl formers. You're gonna get these instructions teaching you how to curl form your hair and you're also gonna get two hooks. I have several hooks because I have several packets of curl formers in all the sizes but um, I'm just gonna release this one because I can't find any of my hooks. They're probably under my bed in a box but I don't care. Put it together. Just join it together. Let me zoom in here. This is the hook. It looks kind of greasy because my hands are greasy. There was oil in my hair and I'm just gonna... There you go. Once it's secure, you can't take it out unless you break it. These are the instructions right there. Step number seven. For those who don't know what curl formers are, because yes, they are some people, you stick your hook through here and then you pull your hair through. That's the general concept. What I don't like about curl formers is once you pull your hair through, you have this dangling tentacle on the side of your head and they're very difficult to sleep in. So I decided that I was gonna curl my hair a little bit differently and a little bit more sleep friendly because I want to sleep comfortably overnight. But I'm gonna have four sections and 10 per section. I'm also gonna be curling my hair with an old favorite, which is Antoine's Creme Jelly Styler, the manipulator. It is the first hair care brand that I tried after going natural that worked for me. And this product, along with the buttercream hydrator, definitely encouraged me on my natural hair journey. So I'm going back to the products that helped me in the beginning. I'll link my old curl formers video so you guys can see how my hair turned out and then you'll understand. I'm using some mousse to prepare my hair for curling and mousse does a good job at giving a good set. Also, I'm putting my hook through my curl former putting the hair in the hook and pulling through back the other way and that secures the curl former in place this is what it looks like now you can also wrap going up which is what i am going to show you how to do in this tutorial this is an alternative method at the root you push the end of the curl former through to secure it in place and that makes it so that it's, you know, saving space. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two. Also, congratulations, Live Love XO for correctly guessing what roller was used. That's the original method and removing it now using the other method. There is a difference and I'll show you guys with paper that it's a slightly larger curl so I'm going to go ahead and start do not snag your hair like I did keep your hook away from your hair until you're actually working with your hair and apply some product which I'm using the creme jelly styler be generous with your products because curl formers need a little bit more moisture whether you're using water or a styling cream definitely do not hold back with product hook at the roots push the curl former up, pinch it at the roots, and pull through. Make sure you're stretching it out as you come down. Don't pull too fast. And at the very end, start wrapping around. Wrap around the finger or wrap around your thumb, but you can see the end of the roller right there. When I pull my finger out, I'm pushing that end through. It's basically going against the direction of the curl and it's angled so it's going to be hard for it to come back through on its own and this locks the curl in place. So here I am going on to another section. Put some product on your hair very generous amount. Notice I'm not getting too close to the roots. Hook my hair onto the curl former hook. Pull the curl former up and slide through. 
Then starting at the bottom, wrap around my thumb or one of my fingers, coming all the way up to the roots and I slide the very end through. This is what we're looking like. Let's move along. Huge shout out to Pinkie Palm who loves my channel and huge shout out to me for remembering because I have bad memories sometimes. Make sure your curl former is already on the hook before you apply product to your hair just so that it's easier for you and your hair doesn't start to shrink too much. But that's only if your hair is already stretched out. If it's not stretched out, it doesn't matter too much. Just make sure your hair is working with a lot of product that helps it be more elastic. Here is our very last one. Hook it, pull through, and wrap around, going all the way up. And that's basically it, you guys. It's that simple. It is not that difficult to do at all. And this is what my hair is looking like. Very sleep friendly. All right, guys, while I still look dark skinned, let's see what these curls look like. I should probably take pictures. This one's a little bit ambitious, so I'll start with her. Hopefully it's dry and hopefully I can see what these curls look like. Okay. I have a curl. One thing I'm really happy about is they have retained their shape. I intentionally did not sit under a dryer because I didn't want these to change in any way, but I am glad they retained their shape. So I can use them either way. I think this is a little bit damp, I don't know. They did good, I got curls. This is insane, you guys. Basically, I can get two different sizes with the exact same roller, which is something I love. I love versatility in curls, in rollers, whatever. And I used 39, so this is a good thing. A really good thing. I am going to put my hair up. Okay, enough playing around. I need to put this hair up. But if you guys want me to try this with the tiniest curl formers, I've already tried them with the larger ones. but I feel like the smallest ones will produce the best curls. So if you want me to do that, I'll go ahead and order some. I'm not ordering them unless you guys tell me. I feel like if I put my hair in a banana clip, it will survive the humidity, so. When I tie my hair up, the humidity takes a while to destroy it, but I feel like if I use the tiniest curl formers, which are the corkscrew curl formers, I'll be able to create a smaller curl than this one, which will last longer even if I wear my hair down. That's what I will do next, I hope. If you guys want me to, then I'll go ahead and order them because these are some really expensive rollers and this is good. 
that you have two different options so if you don't really like that spiral look you can go for more of a roller set like romantic more feminine look I feel like this is more feminine you get a larger curl so if you're not satisfied with the size of your curl you can definitely go larger with this method you basically get two different sizes and two different curl forms see what I did there the things that made me happiest one I did not destroy the integrity of the roller it still looks the same Two, I was able to dry my hair overnight and I would recommend 12 hours minimum just in case because you are wrapping this way but I feel like the air was passing through anyway because it is, you know, mesh-like so it is breathable. Three, the most important thing is I was able to sleep like a baby. That's very important to me. Who really wants to sleep with tentacles in their hair? Curl formers are not exactly the best to sleep in and if you want to tie a headscarf over them you know the other method you can't just like put on a headscarf and run errands i'm done talking if you guys are going to try this out please let me know tag me on instagram if you have an instagram account and i will talk to you in my next video until then please subscribe give me a big thumbs up comment down below letting me know what you think what you would prefer doing with your hair and i will talk to you in my next video but until then take care bye bye